Welcome to Toyota Time with Timmy the Toolman. Today, what I'm going to be doing with my 2000 Toyota 4Runner SR5 four-wheel drive is I'm going to try to restore the black color to all my plastic trim. The product that I'm going to use is... It's made by Detail King, and it's a black uh, stain. <clears throat> I saw it on... I saw a video of it on uh, YouTube. And it looks pretty darn good, uh, the results that I saw. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the black trim coat product. And then afterwards, I'm going to use their uh, Revival bumper and trim dressing to uh, give it a little more shine. We'll go out to the truck and I'll show you how uh, faded my plastic is. You can see the, the bumper is pretty faded. All the trim on it is kind of grayish black the worst part are the are the fenders you can see how faded it is almost white in spots and uh, the runner board here is faded again the trim around the wheel wells is really faded almost white looking mud flaps aren't as bad the bumper same thing it's pretty faded And then the other side of the truck, the passenger side, this uh, one was a little worse. Maybe the previous owners uh, parked it where they was hitting the sun where it was parked. But this is uh, this is truck I've owned for two years now and uh, always wanted to do something about the color of the trim and I'm going to do something about it today. <clears throat> So the Detail King people suggested on their video that you clean up all the trim really good with uh, rubbing alcohol. Uh, I bought some towels, microfiber towels at um, Home Depot. And then I just got some uh, rubbing alcohol from CVS. And when I get uh, done cleaning up all the trim with the rubbing alcohol, then I'm going to tape off the paint so I don't get any of the uh, dye on the paint. And then I'll show you uh, what it looks like with it all taped off and ready to apply the product. Okay, I'm finally done taping off everything. I have one word for this taping. Tedious, very tedious, but necessary so you don't get the dye on your paint. So you can see I painted around the fender or taped around the fenders. I didn't bother taping underneath here because I figure even if I get a little bit of stain up no one's ever going to see it. I taped off the chrome on the, the step. Taped off the fender here. Taped off the bumper. Coming around. Taped off the bumper here. Taped around the decorative piece or whatever for the license plate. Again mud flap and fender taped off is it a, the trim goes into here so I taped off the inside of the door here taped off the other step fender and then you got the tape on both sides of the bumper to, to protect the chrome and then I put a little tape underneath the the grill area because I'm just going to try to push some of it back as far as I can taped off the turn signals and just made my way around so took a while at least when I get to the uh, tedious part of applying it I'm gonna see instant results which will keep me motivated alright time to apply okay here's the uh, contrast I purposely left a, a spot that, that I didn't uh, put the uh, dye on yet you can see <laughs> pretty dramatic difference and it's kind of like painting uh, you have to put it on heavy enough to not leave streaks so I'm probably gonna have to go over this a little bit because I feel see a few streaks but you can see that the color is much darker and restored as a compared to that I'm gonna keep on going well I wish the uh, weather conditions were a little bit better for showing you the after effects but I'd have to say that the Detail King product 
is pretty damn good. You can see that the color has been restored to the bumper, to the lower part of the bumper. Looks really nice. The fender flares, after I pulled the, the tape off, they looked a little bit choppy that my tape job wasn't very smooth. So I don't know if the Detail King people would approve of this, but I actually just put more of it on here and then I took a, a cloth with uh, rubbing alcohol and I uh, cleaned it off the paint. You, there's still a little bit of spots where I missed but it's a much cleaner line than before it was very choppy uh, and it didn't look that smooth so the uh, step here looks nice the fender flare mud flap looks nice the trim around the license plate the bumper and the other side so I would have to give this product the Detail King trim coat two thumbs up did a very nice job restoring the color to all my plastic here's a shot from a little further away so you can get a a look at what it looks like from further away and you could see that the black trim really pops out now it looks a lot nicer. Far away shot of the front. It just looks a lot darker, a lot shinier. And I did use the, the trim dressing afterwards after doing the, the uh, trim coat. I, I did the uh, bumper and trim dressing also afterwards to give it a little bit of shine. So you could see how nice it looks. Don't know how durable it's going to be over time, but if it needs another coating, I'll just get the product out and put a little bit more on. Thanks for watching.